The number one killer is time. It destroys us all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Scream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack? Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. Going too fast for you? Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world-changing. That's right. Whoa, come on! Watch where you're going, man! Fuck off! Get out of the road! Riverport University. Here we are. Hey, thanks for the ride. No problem. You'd been away for six years. Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Welcome back all my patients, the doctors here and I'm bringing you a new game called Quantum Break. Sadly we have to play this at fairly low settings for some reason, I don't know. There's something wrong with my drivers recently, so like I just put the texture at low, everything else is at medium, so yeah. This game takes a lot actually, which is crazy. Uh yeah, let's keep moving. Looks like he's getting a call. Paul. Jack. You just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard and look right, you'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. And I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. Hey. Do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. Thanks. Hey, it's Bobby hey, Radford here on the tail end of the night shift. How you doing, Riverport? The fuck is down there? This looks like the thing for the rally they were talking about, I think, on the radio. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. Oh, no, not th hey, that they were talking about. Why saw a friend nearby at 4 a.m.? Yeah, tell me about it. Well, we're spreading awareness about monarch solutions. So if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, then you can just ask me. All right, what's going on here? OK, how would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? Uh, that's quite an opener. Good. Because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage. And Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. Okay, let's look at the chart over here then. Monarch's tearing down the library to build another research facility. For what? I bet you're gonna tell me. Hmm, to push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city and everybody's completely blind to it. Uh, it doesn't look good. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but you keep fighting this, okay? All right. Enjoy your booty call. <laughs> Not exactly. <laughs> uh, uh, she thinks we're gonna have sex. Ha! Uh, joke. What the fuck is this? Am it's I just staring at, like, the ocean? It's an ocean. Okay, I am staring at an ocean. Horse? 
keeps me gone for five years. The fuck is dark this a trailer? Energy, dark energy constitute over ninety five percent of our universe. We're just a speck of light floating in an endless ocean of darkness. So I warn you guys now, if I do decide to post this, the game will chug occasionally, so it's going to lag here and there. But not too much, hopefully. Like, where it's just like, I can't move, or something like that. Hopefully it's not like that. Or it might not crash, or whatever. I'm just praying. So, if I do decide to upload this, note that it's hard to play this game for some reason. I don't know why, recently. Well, it's also nothing. I don't even think this is optimized for my computer because this isn't even on Steam, and like I can't do certain things I want to do. Like certain new games, I have to run with a certain recorder, but I have to run this with Cam Studio because this isn't on Steam. And the recorder I use that's built into my computer does not allow me to use that. So I use Shadow Play for high-end games, while I use Cam Studio for other games. But um, this show looks lit as fuck. Um. Wow, that just captivated me. Um, but like, if if I could use shadow, um, shadow play, then this would be better and shit. One we wear for all to see, and the face that lies beneath in the dark. Lit. Um. So yes, as I was saying, um, if I could use the other one, then this wouldn't be a problem. I've been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. Now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. Hey, protests over. Head home. Now what do you mean, head home? I want chill. Safety whistle. Prick. Where's your uniform? Excuse me. Come on. I've been in shit enough to smell at security. You sure this is somewhere that you want to be sniffing around? This is exactly where I want to be sniffing around. That's adorable. Oh, he's like a puppy. Walk away. Liam Burke, a monarch security officer. Our first meeting was cordial compared to him introducing a rifle butt to my head later on. Huh, okay. So, I'm gonna kill you later, okay? Because I know this is a first person shooter. You're probably a Come boss on. or something. Move along. Or what? What you gonna do if I don't move along, NPC, huh? 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 Okay, let's keep moving. Anything else for me to examine? Doesn't look like it. Okay, let's keep moving then. Every party has a pooper, that's why they invited you. Party pooper. Party pooper. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. Oh. Uh, best friends. Six years. And I was starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. Come on. So, guys, what I ended up doing was I ended up lowering the texture. But I ended up boosting the um the thing that adds details to, to like things. How was the flight? For low, this is pretty fucking good. To step up from our van trip to Utah. So like that. basically, I'm Guessing running out of low medium. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. I'm in the elevator. Can you get in the elevator? There's more to this. Than okay. You yeah. Is it about my brother? I still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then Jack, man. Look, I've been tight lipped about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh why do I smell one of your long winded presentations on the horizon? Is that a PowerPoint presentation? I Fucking would hell. Never. That's so funny, actually. Oh, look. <clears throat> <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> Oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. 
Oh, I have an option to take a seat. What word? I'm interested in PowerPoints. Not really. We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well, if you insist. Time. Progress. The final frontier. Our primary drive is a species. <clears throat> Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. Oh, he's on his grind. He told you don't ruin it. Which denies us true progress. Time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's being explained to me. We've known that in theory, a rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a primer for now. So do I have to get up myself or All right, like... Let's do this. Oh, he gets a button. Okay, game. So I this see is about you. Quantum physics. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace How did Dr. Kim die? I'm curious. It's sort of weird. Like, who's Dr. Kim? I need backstories here, guys. Backstories. So I apologize ahead if, like, it buffers during this part or not. I'm not sure if it will. Cause like that, that I tried like pre-recording stuff, oh, and like shit. this seems to be the part where it always buffers. To be honest, well, it's running well right what now. All this? The future, Jack. So I might have finally figured out the um, combination that lets me run this game well it's while recording. But Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, dangers. All with no evidence. It works. But they're gonna cut our funding if I don't prove it. Huh, okay. I'm gonna check out this computer over here real quick. Move! My god. I see the concept of personal space is still foreign to you. Hey, somebody's gotta keep tabs on you. Pause if you wanna read, guys. Yeah, you guys can just pause it as I'm slowly scrolling it, okay? There you go. Read that if you're interested. Jack, come on. I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm just looking Jack, at your private shit. You know asking for her help is not easy for me. I am in deep trouble. You see, the tests I have to run here are not strictly speaking legal. And you're the only one I can trust to help me with this. Whatever Will did, I want to make it right. I love my older brother. But he didn't make it easy. It's already essentially set up. Anyone can do it, but you're the one I want to do this with. Jack, thank you. I knew I could count on you. No problem. You know what I find cool? This guy is Mike from the following. I believe his name is Mike, at least. If something's too long, I, I'll probably just skip it and like show it to you guys. You see, something like this. This is too long for me to like just slowly scroll for you guys. So hopefully, like, there's a data archive where I can just put, like review notes and like we'll look at we'll take a video to look at it really. Uh, did I skip something? Cause I want to get all the achievements and everything I need you to and sell them on. Oh, this is Steam. So why do I care? Never mind. I'm gonna run diagnostics and make sure it remains stable. Okay, run diagnostics, bruh. Oh, activate the car. 
Okay. I see. What's this? Oh, they actually want me to activate it, but... Oh, pull the lever, crunk. Oh, what the fuck's happening? So it scared me. Let's push it up more. Are you sure it's supposed to do that? What the fuck is that? What was that? The core replicates the effects of a rotating micro black hole, so activating it can be a bit. Wait, you just made a black hole, a black hole? by yourself? What exactly are we testing here? You're about to find out. This way, we've got to raise the corridor. It's really cr wait. What do you mean by raise car? Slightly What's about to happen? I'm type scared. All I know is this game is sort of about time. It's a first-person shooter. Fast. I could tell this was different. Still, I didn't understand how massive and far-reaching the consequences for this would be. How could I? I knew Paul. He played it cool, but I could tell he was nervous. What's happening? What oh. are we doing this, Jack? It's gonna be amazing. What are we doing? Are, what are we looking at? Here, something here? Take this. You need this key to activate the corridor. Oh, it's like the we both need to turn the keys at the same time. Science cliche thing, right? Lit. But this is something crazy. This is for something crazy, though. Security precautions. Yes, yeah, security precaut. Oh like shit. Launching a nuke. Wait, we're not launching a nuke. Yeah, <laughs> I hope we're not. I hope we are Three, launching a nuke. Two, Pull up four, baby. One. Jack. What? You didn't say zero. Come on, man. We need ground rules. For okay. Things. You turn. I'll follow. Eh. I wonder. Fine. Fuck it. Close enough. God damn, Paul. What is this? The corridor. The passenger enters one end, travels around the loop, exits the other. It arrives at the predetermined time and the physical location where the machine is situated in that time. That's a fucking time machine. Wait, wait, wait. This is a corridor for. You're that he just is fine a time machine. In the machine. Wait, is that like a walkway time machine thing? 